Hi everybody, today we will talk about attribute views and analytic views. Attribute views are created with either one table or multiple tables. If I'm using one table, say my table has a large number of fields, so I will be able to select a few fields from the table as output to use in my reports. But if I'm using multiple tables of similar type, should be similar type, I can join them with common fields and get an output from both the tables. And at the same time, I can select few fields from each table. In this example, under the package Uwin Pro, we have uh, three attribute views. Uh, we open the first one, I mean AV underscore test one. You can see that it is made up of two tables. One is article color lookup, other one is article lookup. And uh, they, bo they both are from a schema called uh, eFashion Tutorial. So let me go to eFashion Tutorial, which is under catalog. That schema is under catalog. So I have uh, article color lookup table here. Let me double click to open the con open the fields in the table. So I see that I have uh, nine fields in the table, including article ID. When I double click on article lookup, I see it has six fields and article ID is one of the fields. So these two tables can be linked or joined with article ID, which is a common field. When I open the contents of the first table, I said data preview. I see that I have 200 records and it took 430 milliseconds to show them. So I see so many fields here. When I open the second one, I have 200 records as well. I have less number of fields here. Sometimes tables can have a lot of fields. I can select whatever I want when I create the attribute view. So I'm going to the attribute view, what I showed you just now. So from this table, we are selecting three fields, article color, lookup ID, color code, family name, and family code. From this table, we are selecting article ID, article label, category, and sale price. So these are the fields we selected from both of them. We have joined this table with a common field and which is a key figure here. I have joined this article ID from this table to the article ID of the other table. And I validate this. There is no problem. Completed successfully. Then I activate and save. Save and activate. So it's completed. Then I am going to data preview. Before data preview I have to do them. Uh, sometimes uh, the, this, uh, this attribute view may be there before and uh, I have made some changes. If I, if, we, if I want my changes to be active, then I have to activate again. So I click on the data preview. Then I see contents from both tables. See I see article label, article color lookup from the color table, color code, sale price, category, all of them. If I want to see the SQL statement, statement executed behind, I click on this. This is the executed, well, this is the ex SQL statement executed behind. So I will copy this. I will go to quick launch, open the SQL editor and paste it there. This part we don't need. So whenever we are executing, we won't select that. So we will arrange it nicely. So we are using the view we created now, analytic view test one. And we are selecting the top 200 from that, from that view. And these are the fields we are selecting. If I want to reduce, I can reduce. You will observe that this is saved under a direct, under a schema called underscore sys underscore big. Anyway, I will execute this. 
there's an error because I didn't isolate that for statement so I will highlight this I either highlight this and execute or I delete this one so I highlight this and execute then I see the same results so this is the SQL statement and you see that our analytic attribute view is saved under a direct under a schema called sys underscore sys underscore big so let us go to that schema and check it is also under catalog so underscore sys underscore big if I go to column views I see a lot of views created all the views created by other people also here then right click on this select filter and then I will filter uwin pro then it will show all the views created under the package uwin pro so uh, whenever I create views it's it is uh, saved under underscore sys underscore big now we will go back to the attribute views we have so I opened the first one here and I showed you that uh, we have uh, two tables here these two tables are of similar type it has common field or fields then we have another one attribute another attribute we here here we are using only one table that is uh, outlet lookup when I activate this and view the contents is already saved before validated before so it has 13 rows it talks about cities and zip codes and the address and the date open sort of thing these are outlets so I'm opening the next one this is calendar year lookup so if I see the data preview nothing was changed I can see the data preview I see all of them so I can create attribute views using one or more tables the advantage is I can select the select the fields in my output now I'll go to analytic views so we are selecting an analytic view called uh, Anna underscore test 2 let me call close this so this is the analytic view uh, called uh, Anna underscore test 2 so I have selected a table here this is a fact table because it has some measures like margin amount sold and quantity so one fact table is selected here and uh, we have selected uh, two attribute views we have selected attribute view test 2 that is this one and attribute view test 3 that is this one so we made we made of made use of these two and also we made use of a fact table called uh, shop facts which which is under e fashion tutorial so if i go to shop facts under the schema e fashion tutorial data preview and it has amount sold margin quantity sold that information so in this analytic view uh, we are using the fact table and selecting some as attributes and some as measures when we select that it will be coming into the data foundation so when I go to the logical view I see the data foundation so these are the key figures and these are attributes so I am uh, linking the attribute from this data foundation to the analytic view so I'm using week ID here and I'm using shop ID here so I have created a regular referential uh, join between these and when I go here so I have not made any restricted measures or variables
so if I go and uh, after activating if I go and uh, do the data preview I see the 200 rows uh, 200 rows are displayed here so the the records are coming from analytic views attribute views and the fact table so I have margin from the fact table amount sold from the fact table quantity sold from the fact table and also I have other fields from other tables which are used to build to that build the attribute views I can also go to go and see the distinct values I can go and see the analytical values so for example for this article ID I want to see the amount sold so I see this article ID is selling very fast very good this article ID is selling very good this shows the amount sold if I want I can select something else also quantity sold this item is selling a lot so if I go to the SQL statement behind this so this is the statement thank you